Ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube lands, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we have here another Girls Frontline video. In today's video, we'll be talking about dummy cores, what they are, what they do, how to get them, and hopefully everything else that uh, I can think of to bring you value about these things that are so important in this game. So first off, we're going to want to go to our factory. Dummy cores allow you to do a plethora of things in the game. They allow you to do heavy productions they allow you to dummy link your characters if you don't have dupes and i think that's it it doesn't sound like much but it's actually extremely important that you have a lot of dummy cores as you can see right here so the first question you're gonna say is yo tug how do i get these dummy cores well you can get them by uh retiring or disassembling your three four or five star characters now if you disassemble let's say a three star character do i have one okay no i don't if you disassemble a three star character i'll do one of each time i'm not gonna like actually get rid of these characters but i will show you at least one of each type so let's do safety lock let's just say three five and a four so let's just say that you have an extra you know three star character or four star character or potentially even a five star character that you do for whatever reason want to get rid of so right here if we were to pretend to get rid of her it would give me one core now if i were to get rid of a four star character it'd give me three cores and for a five star character which i don't i guess it okay that's awkward for a five star character it should be five cores now i'm gonna go back and lock those characters because i don't want to lose them now after seeing that we can retire characters uh typically you will never ever get a core from getting rid of two star characters just because they're so extremely uh frequent so what you can do with the two star characters is you can like level up your other characters stats so right here we just uh take these characters and when this turns yellow then it's like boom you just level them up so i had to do that specifically because i wanted to show you the heavy productions dummy cores also allow you to do heavy productions this is extremely important because this is the only way that you will get shotgun characters. Now, this will be something, you know, if you're just starting out, you're not too worried about shotgun characters. One, because you need to get a whole lot of other characters first. Number two, shotgun characters are extremely expensive to get. As you can see, the lowest amount of resources that we can spend just to craft one character is a thousand resources now if i were to turn around and try to go for someone like ksg which at this current point is the only five star shotgun in the game uh the only way that i can get her is through using some expensive recipe that like this like it's actually pretty insane now as you can see down here we do have this little tab uh if we increase it you can see that these two things go up and this first one is going to be our t-doll contracts the second one is going to be the amount of cores that we have so you can see that a tier three will cost me 50 contracts and 10 cores now at, at first it might sound you know like super expensive and the tier three especially is but over time you know if you just save up and save up and save up you can do a tier two you can do a tier three uh the benefits of doing that is it does increase your rates slightly how much is slightly i'm not 100 sure i think it's i think the numbers are out there i just don't know what they are but dummy cores are used in this sense to allow you to do heavy productions they also allow us to do these things called dummy linking our characters as you can see i don't have anybody that needs to be dummy linked so we're going to go over here and show you what this is so if you look at these characters you can see that it says x5 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 x4 and x4 that basically means i have duped my character limit broken my character or in this game's 
uh, terminology, I have dummy linked my characters. So when you first get a character, they are going to start out at zero. So they are basically just nothing. Now, when you get to level 10, they become X2, as you can see right here. Then you get to level 30, and then you can dummy link them again, which would be X3. You get to level 70, you can dummy link them again, which allows them to be X4. And then at level 90, they can be X5. X5 is going to be the final one that you can dummy link them at, and that's where they're gonna stay maxed out at. Now, uh, for dummy linking your characters, it is going to de depend slightly on how many cores each cost to go from X2, X3, X4, or X5. It's all different, but it also depends on if they're two star rarity, three star, four star, five star rarity. So uh, really quickly, if you have a five star character and you're trying to get them to X2, it'll take 15 cores, X3 is 15 cores, X4 is 30 cores, and then X5 is 45 cores. Now the reason why I decided to go and go ahead and just tell you the five star ones and not really worry too much about anything else is because I wanted to, to like kind of throw that at y'all and show y'all that getting a five star to X5 is pretty dang expensive. Uh, if I were to take a look at it then again, I think that is going to be 105 cores total just to get them to X5. And as you can see here, that would leave me with 20 cores. And that's extremely expensive, like early on in the game. Uh, there are other ways to kind of farm three star characters. Uh, these two maps that I've been doing a lot typically have given me a lot of cores because I have a lot of X5 characters. Well, I have a decent amount. 5-4 is one that, as you can see, I've ran 446 times. This has been a huge help. 4-3-E. I've ran 925 times. That's given me a decent amount of three stars as well. But the ultimate goal that, we, that I want to get to in order to be in core heaven is going to be 0-2, which would be right here. Apparently, this stage has a very good place. Like, it has a specific route that you can go through, and it allows us to get so many three-star characters. I know some people have popped into the stream, twitch.tv slash tuglo, and they have said, man, you know, if I farm 0-2 for a day, I can get, like, 50 cores in a day, or you can, they can get X amount of cores in a day, and comparing that to what I'm getting is incredible you know if i can get maybe 10 cores a day 15 cores a day that's a really good day for me three stars you know they they're far and few between more so for four stars as well because you know we can get four stars from here i think i've only gotten one ump9 out of all 446 times that i've run this single node i've only gotten one four star good luck bad luck i don't know but that is just the nature of it. So dummy cores, extremely, extremely important. They are a very uh, valuable resource early on. So you don't just want to go throwing your dummy cores at, you know, your first five star character, whatever the case may be. Using them on characters such as, uh, let me scroll down to here. Right. using them on characters that you never get dupes of ever again, which are your story characters, M4A1, Sot Mod, AR15, and M16, those are going to be the characters that are going to have a high uh, return on investment because they're really good early game and you never get them again. So don't ever like dismantle these characters and don't, uh, don't expect to get them ever again. So this is a really good place to invest your cores at. That's why it's also kind of recommended, you know, try to start with three stars and two stars, maybe one, maybe two, or uh, maybe one four star, or maybe, you know, one five star, because you don't want to just go straight into core hell, because, you know, you don't really get a lot of them often, so you don't want to continually be at a negative balance. The last reason why these cores are extremely important is because when you're leveling your characters, you get a one times bonus when you have x1 
when you get them to x2 you get maybe like a 1.10 bonus of getting exp let's say x3 is like 1.30 x4 1.5 and then like x5 is 1.75 or something i don't know if those are the exact numbers but there is a bonus for getting them to you know x2 x3 x4 x5 so these dummy cores are extremely important and it is extremely inefficient to level characters without having them at those next x levels because it'll help you push forward in leveling so guys that's all i have for this video i hope you found it helpful useful enjoyable in learning about what dummy cores are how to get them and what they are useful for definitely do not sleep on these dummy cores they are super duper important so guys that's all i have for this one thank you so much for watching and as y'all know that's the fat lady singing that's the bells are ringing and until the next video i hope you have an awesome day and i will see you in the next one god bless and peace out Thank you.